Let's say hi to Steve in Virginia. Steve. Hey. Hey. Hey, man. Hey, man. What's I up? I just to tell you guys I sent an email to XM yesterday saying that they should just kill the show. All right. All right. Thank you for that. Thank you. All right. Yep. They should kill who? Kill the boys. Kill the show. Well, if you don't like the show, why are you listening? There's over, t like, 200 channels. Oh, of course he hangs up. He left. I don't get that. If you don't like the show, then you go somewhere else. Well, all you tell us you fired off an email. Yeah, I showed you I guys. I to wow. your superiors. Thanks right for over your heads. All right, here's the deal. You want to listen to Troy's mixtape of love for Melissa? Yes. Or the John Sterling uh, clips? What's the John Sterling clips? I've been so annoyed as a Yankee fan. I used to love John Sterling. I thought he did uh -huh. some interesting c color calls. Color calls. Lunch, hurry. But he became a caricature of himself and began to annoy me so much. I used to love the guy. I think he actually calls a really good game. A lot of people disagree. I think he's very good. But when he does the, the home run calls, he gets so wrapped up in his own shtick. Yeah. Um, like, you know. Like it's not about you, douchebag. It is high. It is far. It is gone. At times, if you don't know where the ball's going, that makes sense. Uh -huh. But when it becomes, mm, it is high. Mm, it is far. All right. Is it? Is it gone? <laughs> well, when the Yankees win one, when the Yankees years ago would win <laughs> two to one in the ninth inning, and he would the Yankees win. It was a gr it was a chilling call. It was so good because you yeah. felt the way he. It was a dramatic moment. Absolutely. That he was capturing with his call. Yes, in the playoffs. But you're now talking about win, a close game. In the playoffs, maybe right, the right. Yankees win, and you're like, yes, they did. Yeah. yeah. But now it's you know, an eight to one win in Minnesota in July. <laughs> That's great. Your song oh, that is man. good. It's like, dude, do you have no emotion for everything? I did same emotion. You gotta have yeah. a mix. The sportscasters now want to be the stars. You know. Yeah. That's what it's all about. We get it. He could go. Oh, I understand the way, <laughs> shithead. We could go. Oh, the could he? Could he? He has a 20-yard lead on the guy chasing exactly. him. Exactly. I think he's going to make it. He's got Christopher Reed blown into a <laughs> straw behind him. <laughs> right, trying to move his wheelchair to catch him. I think he's going to score. <laughs> so good. Hey, Chris! No! Oh! Oh! Ugh! <laughs> It sort of takes away from those special moments. And it's like, you know, I've, you know, I've just seen the tape. He goes, oh, the... <laughs> fucko. <laughs> Who made the fucko listen, Chris Berman? Not as high. Not as far. <laughs> so we got uh, John Sterling audio from him calling Yankee games, right? And the names, by the way, that he assigns these players. Oh. The best phrase... The douche chill I get in the car. I can't even listen to him anymore. Yeah. I cannot listen. That bad. It, dude, they're yeah. terrible names. Like what? I don't know what. I. Th well, what? We got some examples. Yeah, I think right? I should start here. Let Let's... us high. Let us high. <laughs> 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 Alright, here we go. Now the 1-1. One, one. Swung on there, goes to right. It is high. It is far. It is gone. Oh, he's done it again. Jason Giambi. And boy, did he hit a shot. Oh, way out in right field. He timed a fastball and drilled it out. It is a three-run homer for Jason Giambi. The Giambino. And the Yankees take a 5-4 lead. Is it true that it was during batting practice? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> the Giambino? The Giambino. See, that was actually Oof. a great call until he said that. Yeah, the Giambino. That was a great call. It is high. It, is, it was quick. It wasn't dragged out and annoying. Yeah. The Giambino. Yeah. All right, let's uh, listen to the next one. 2-1 Seattle in the seventh. And the right-handed deals. Swung on it. Hit in the air. The deep right center. It is high. It is far. It is... It's a grand slam. Bernie goes boom. He drills a grand uh. slam into the bleachers in deep right center. Burn, baby, burn. And the uh. Yankees have taken a 5-2 lead. I would uh. rather have Bernie strike out than have to listen to that. Listen to that drivel. Bernie goes boom. Burn. Baby Burn. Burn Baby Burn. But probably burn. spelled B E R N. Of course. Because his name is. Right. Bernie. And when guys hit home runs. Oh, this is the worst. Like, if you guys were both up and you hit home runs. Yeah. Which you do in my eyes every day. Of course. Thanks, Jimmy. You would say. <laughs> 
he would say they hit home runs a back to back and a belly to belly. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, back to back and a belly to belly. Uh, yeah, he goes, and a, and a belly to belly. Whoa. All right, here we go. Here's it's an awful. It's horrendous. Here's another call. And here's a 2 1. Swung on, hit in the air to deep right center. Logan is after it, way back in right center. That ball is gone. Oh, it carried into the right center field bleachers. Here's the 0-1. Swung on, hit in the same area to deep right center. That ball is high. It is far. It is gone. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. How fucking awful is oh. an A-bomb from A-Rod? He's got it, like, really over. <laughs> you know who caught an there. A-bomb from A-Rod? The last guy that was banged by Robert Reed. <laughs> 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 hey, he dropped the doozy right now. He's calling. God. <laughs> right out of the hull of the Enola faggot. <laughs> Here's the next call. Here's Posada. He has won a deep left. That ball is high. It is far. It is gone. Georgie just won. The good old days. Georgie juiced one. Georgie. Yeesh. It's fucking Oof. un. I can't listen to Yankee games anymore. <laughs> that is really bad. Do you understand? We at eighteen on Martinez ones in here. Uh, I'm looking. Mm. We got we got the Alexander the Great. Oh. I don't know. The pitch is swung on. Hit in the air to deep center. That ball is high. It is far. It is gone in the block. Another bomb from A-Rod. Alexander the Great conquers again. Hi. Do you know my head is tingling right now? Yuck. That's so awful. Yeah. My head is itching. Isn't that just the worst? It's the same feeling I got when I was 16. And I was jerking off reading a four magazine and my mother walked into my bedroom. <laughs> Embarrassment. Sheer embarrassment. No, no, no. The desire to grab someone's head and force it on my cock. <laughs> Don't misquote me. <laughs> and a bomb from a -Rod. Let's say hi to Mark in Connecticut. Dad Mark. liked what? Yeah. But it's the one, one of Sterling Carl from a couple of years ago or a year or something ago. The Yankees lost something like 25 to nothing. And at the end of the game, Sterling was all in tears like, and you know, the best thing about baseball is that the sun will come up tomorrow. <laughs> And it's just, that was, like, the call. Really? Is, it, oh. is, is there any Tino Martinez ones here? I don't think so. Oh, uh, no, back to oh, back. Oh, no, we got some Tino okay, coming up. Okay, good, good, But good. first, we got the Yankees win call that, uh... Oh. Well, again, if it's done right, I like it. There's, there's a way to do it where it's genuine and a way where it's not. But every game he ends with this. Yes. That the Yankees win. Rivera at the belt. And the 0-2. Struck him out swinging. Ball game over. Yankees win. The Yankees win. Do they? <laughs> They're trying to be the stars. It's it not about the players really... anymore. I like the guy, I know this is a local reference, a guy named Charlie Steiner was doing the game. And I like Susan Waldman. She's a big fan, obviously, as well as being an announcer. But God damn it, John. Just stop. Do the calls good. You know, he's got a great voice. He knows how to do a call. So just do it. Yeah. An A bomb from A Rod? Who looks at that and goes, that was fucking great? When you went. He's brilliant. When you went, N it is high, N it is far. I think for now on, when one of us has a killer line in the show, oh. some, someone has to call it. Burn! I'll be burn! <laughs> well, if you guys have good lines, I'll go, a back to back and a belly to belly. Hey, Prozac. Oh. Good morning, boy. Hey, Prozac. 
hey, uh, this uh, John Sterling is such an arrogant prick. He won't come on the air when the game starts until Susan Waldman says, and now the voice of the New York Yankees, John Sterling. Well, it's called an introduction, sir. <laughs> yeah, the nerve <laughs> of him. fault him for that. He won't come on until the mic's, the power's up. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I don't nitpick, sir. The man's a bull, but... Uh, Nate, what's up? Hey, good morning, guys. Hey. Good morning, Juicy Nipples. You Thank guys you. are missing the most annoying thing about Sterling. <laughs> the fact that he will not even call the game. The game is secondary compared to his own inane babble. I once heard him talking about the tires on his car. He was going, but you know, Susan, uh, I've got these old season rate of uh, the pitcher strike. And, uh, you know, I keep them on my car all year long. I got it in a way no. defend Sterling on that one. All announcers do that a little bit. No, who's great at that, Phil Rizzuto. Rizzuto was awful. He was great about talking about everything but the game is what I'm saying. Right. And, no, no, dude, I know what you're saying, but I actually like the way Sterling calls, you know, the pitch. I mean, I, I actually... It's like the game is completely secondary to whether, whatever he happens to be talking about at the time. He won't even tell you what pitch was thrown if he's in the middle of something else. Um, yeah. I don't know. I, I haven't noticed that. Maybe you're right, but I, I, like, I like the way he actually does a regular call. I actually like a regular call. All right. Thank you, sir. Let's go to Rugburn from Black Bag. Rugburn. You guys need to get Big A to do the Yankee calls. <laughs> oh, Jesus. The Yankees win. The uh, 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 Yankees win. Punching out, boy. It is high. All right, here's another call. The pitch is swung on, and there it goes to deep right. It is high. It is far. It is gone. He's done it again. He's done it again. The Bamtino. Ah, oh, <laughs> not the well, Bamtino. I don't believe it, and I'm seeing it. I haven't missed a game with the Yanks in 17 years. I haven't seen anything like this. Constantino Martinez of Tampa, Florida has hit his second home run of the game. A two-run home run. Ties the game at three. Unbelievable. In all those years of broadcasting, he hasn't seen a player hit two homers in one game? No. Yeah, it really was a, it was a life-changing experience. Jesus. The well, Bamtino. That, that, that's the one. That, that actually makes my asshole go in farther. A pucker. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's a real, like... You can hear my ass hoggle. Oh. <laughs> That's so gross. Now the payoff. Swung on, drilled to deep right field. Back goes Burns. It is gone. It's off the back wall. I think it's gone. It is gone. Another Tino home run. Is that amazing? Is that absolutely amazing? He has hit seven homers in the last eight games. The Bam Tino. He drills a home run in the Yankees' trail 3-1. Oh, <laughs> the Bamtino. Who's in the car going, come on, say Bamtino. Say it. You know you want to. Uh, Brian, Tennessee. Hey, guys. Morning. Morning. Hey. Hey, uh, you could be worse. Uh, I don't know the guy's name, but you could have the announcer for the Atlanta Braves. Uh, real drudge, real slow talking. Put you to sleep. No, I, and I like that. There's a lot I like about Sterling. I'm not saying he sucks. They should fire him, but those specific things that he's obsessed with—it's like an OCD thing with him—is that he's turning the doorknob three times every time Tino hits a home run. He's got to say that. It just yeah. becomes irritating because um, I do think he does a good game. That's what bugs me. Is I like his call. <laughs> Do you think maybe he's trying to be like an ESPN reporter? Yeah. Hey, Mike, go! Oh. Uh. Yeah, yeah, I got to check on this one, James. <laughs> this one's out of here. Uh, so, it's just it's easy, terrible. Guys. And I'm also sick of who is it, Coleman, that does the Met games. It's very overrated. Yeah. You know, uh, looking up, it's out of here! <laughs> is it, shithead? <laughs> it's out of here! <laughs> he's a fucking cornball, too. <laughs> Now the right-hander is set to be a 2-2 two -two to Giambi. The pitch is swung on and hit in the air to deep right. It is high. Yes. It is far. Is Giambino. Ball oh. game over. Yankees win. The Yankees win. The Giambino. No, no, no. That would be stupid. It's the Giambino. Ah. The Giambino. Does he know that he sounds like a real douchebag when he <laughs> says that? The Giambino, the Bamtino. Two to go. Penniman is set. And he deals. Swung on in line to left center field. It is a base hit. Rounding third is Reigns. He'll score. Tino goes to third. It's a two out. 
base hit to left center by Mariano Duncan. And the Yankees have taken a 3-2 lead. The goody gritty Yanks have struck again. Yeah, I never liked but that. I actually liked that call uh, up until, wow, Mariano Duncan. Jesus, that's got to be fucking eight years ago. The Dunkino. <laughs> right? <laughs> Mariano Duncan dumps one into center field. <laughs> But no, I like that call, except the gutty, gritty Yankee. Yeah, he used to always say that, but that didn't yeah. bother me as much. Yeah. But I, I know what he was saying. Hey, Mike, go! Oh! Ah! <laughs> one more. The 2 1. Swung on and hit high in the air. That deep left center. That ball is going to be high. It's going to be far. Gone! Derek Jeter hits his first grand slam. The first grand slam of Jeter's career. Center field wall. A grand slam, and the Yankees now have a 7 1 lead. What's wrong with that call? Yeah. Nothing wrong with that clip. We can't end with that. That's fine. That was a good call. In radio, you got to end with uh, <sighs> a good one. You got to end I'm with I mean, you don't want to take it on a high note. But... Of course. Here's what one What was wrong with that call? Oops, right? All right, we'll try to end with this one. Bill Risley warms in the bullpen. Mattingly swings and he has a drive. The deep right center. Head is high. Head is far. Head is down. Back to back. Mina belly to belly. Dan Mattingly homers in the right center field area. And the Yankees take a 3 2 lead. Oh, wow. Has he been doing that since 94? That, that long. Mattingly call. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Back to back. Uh, and Andy Hawkins has been knocked out of the game. Holy shit. <laughs> and a belly to belly. <laughs> Ugh. Mm. Oh. Too bad Ben didn't hit a home run. You know, uh, A scalp to scalp and a hog to hog. Lou Gehrig hits one. Oh, shaky running around the bases. <laughs> <laughs> It is high. It is far. It is gone. <laughs> Ramon! <laughs> Bring Bam Tino a home run. <laughs> and the hit, it is high. It is far. <laughs> it is gone. <laughs> it's back to back and and and, and fixed belly to belly oh <laughs> and stapled belly to belly. Yes, they call me the Bear Bino. <laughs> <laughs> and Carlisi hits another bare bones home run. <laughs> Ah, that's true. Superdome evac suspended after <laughs> shots fired at choppers. Oh, they're firing at the helicopters. Oh, they're rescuing people, and they're shooting at the go. helicopters. I wonder how long it's going to take for the country to just start hating 